and thought go outside. Uh, uh, who's timing? Thank you. All right, you can start now. We're very good morning to lecturers and all my uh, seniors and also my fellow friends. But today, we're going to present our boards for the infographic for Bacosia. So as you can see, this is the first board and that's our last board. We have eight boards. So in the first board, you can see that the team that we chose is mating and reproduction. It's highlighted in red, so it's like very shiny. And we have our project here and the beams and our side and our content so you know what we're going to talk about on the following boards. So the second board, yeah. And meeting and reproduction is our team. So we got to, ex uh, we chose like, sorry, uh, we chose Fiddler Crab and Mud Skipper because we can find it in our site. So we chose Mud Skipper and Fiddler. So before moving on to the meeting and production, we're going to give a brief introduction about the Mud Skipper and also the Fiddler Crab. Cover the definition, location, food, habitat, and lifespan, which we use the same color for the each uh, title to identify that they are under the same category. Yeah. And so, and then to the third board, we introduce what is mating and reproduction, which is our team. And we use like traditional icons, like the icons of people, and pie charts, and graphs to uh, identify our information with the mating duration, the mating system, and for reproduction is the number of offspring, percentage of vulnerability disease, and types of reproduction. So besides uh, just talking about the general information of mating and reproduction, we cover interesting stuff like do you know from mating the bonobo is that type of monkey? The, the reason of mating, the reason of the bonobo to mate, one of the interesting one is they mate because they need to exchange food. They mate when they exchange food, they mate when they meet, and they mate to resolve fights. So, and for this interesting fact, jellyfish, the, the jellyfish involves both asexual and sexual reproduction. So, after introdu uh, introducing what is mating and reproduction, we move on to the first part of our uh, point, which is mating process of a fiddler crab. And second, the next one is the mating process of the mud skipper. We use the same layout so that you can see that it's under the same topic, which is the mating process. And this mating process covers every specific details, which is from the mating season to how the living things, uh, how both of them prepare uh, for the mating season, and how they attract the female, and how the female get attracted, and they went into uh, went inside the burrow and started to mate and till the incubation of the eggs. So we highlighted our keywords with yellow, uh, which is on top of this circular thing where you can see it and you can straight away understand it just by looking at the keywords. If you hope to have more detail, you can look at the detailed information that we wrote on the circle. So what is interesting about these two boards, we don't just talk about feeder crab and mask fur. Like for example, under mating, like this, mating, we have pop-ups, like do you know? Something like that. Like under mating, the mask keeper just made so we found out like one more uh, living thing that it made interestingly like the whiptail lizard for whiptail lizard there are no male whiptail lizard they are just female whiptail lizard so basically how they uh, how they made is the the female will mate with the female yeah so there are more interesting things here yeah under like for this courtship display the mask keeper perform courtship display on the other hand the Birds of Paradise also provides courtship display which is dances to attract the females. So uh, in these two boards, we talk about how the male attracts the female. One more minute. One more minute. Okay, so uh, this one used waving display and this one used courtship display. And we emphasize on this. Few it means like it's who you read with that we saw to attract the females. So we emphasize on this. We use this as an anima uh, animation board where you see the this can wave like in circular movement and the female get attracted to it. Yeah. So while the female this one is wave, uh, waving the ball, the female will consider about a few aspects like oh the, he's waving like the size of the blue healthiness and etc. And for the mud skipper, it will change its color, change its color, and then it will jump out of the water to be spotted by the female, and then it will sorry, wiggle its body and impress the female, and then the female will be like, yeah, poke up. Yeah. <laughs> so and then for the second part of our uh, information uh, team, there's no this there's 
the the skill is attracted to you. So the pro uh, production process and uh, of much cheaper and cleaner product. So we do the same thing like the previous board for the painting. Okay. Five seconds. Yeah, it's all the keywords and then all the details like this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <coughs> of the living things, there's actually a comparison between the duration of their mating, like how long to take, uh, they, are, they take to attract the females. And we can see the, uh, because they both of course on our side, so we choose them so we can have like a contrast, we can see the difference between like how they mate, what are the mating seasons, we can know more information just than like knowing just uh, one living thing. Like it's very interesting on how they attract the females. If that's the case, I would have liked to see another board for a conclusion where you actually draw the two in direct comparison with one another. Because I can see that you do have comparisons such as the you know the stages of the reproduction and the mating and courtship and stuff like that. But uh, they are side by side. I would not automatically connect them unless I'm looking at just those two alone. But when I'm looking at the entire board, I, I what I'm looking for is, is the story, is the secret. So if you want to compare those two, it would have been nice to have a conclusion board. Another thing is that I think uh, certain parts of your information where you talked about the parts that were more important or like uh, did you know facts, interesting ones, stuff that would really capture my attention. I got it when you told it to me, but when I look at the board, it's not highlighted or not emphasized enough. Like, uh, yeah, such as this sequence thing. You said you highlighted it using the yellow keywords, but they don't jump out at me in any way. Uh, maybe you could have played it in terms of like the size of the bubbles that you put it in, or I don't know, a different way that you show it so it's got more punch in it. Yeah, uh, same with the, the last of the boards. But I do like your animation board where you can move it, stuff like that. It's a very creative way to show it. Uh, but the same thing with the things that were important. The facts could have jumped out a little bit more other than just being there on the same side. Just, you know, read it. <coughs> I mean, we were discussing just now about you saying that um, was it they, they, they made because they have to exchange food? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know why that this is on your board. Yeah. That is kind of like yes. an important factor. Uh, it's like under mating. It's an like interesting fact. You don't know. Where is it? it? It is. It's there. I know it's there. But oh, it's too it, small. Yeah, yeah, you should, you know, make it come out a little bit more. All right. No, no, no. Is it a monkey or is it a cat? Uh, the monkey. Mm -hmm. It's really confusing. No, because like, it covers interesting facts. About? About other... About, like, about mating. Because that board is basically talking about dating and production. Uh, it's a brief introduction about mating and production. Oh, okay. So for mating, we say, do you know the monkey? And for reproduction, do you know the jellyfish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's confusing. Yeah. When you when you want to order your board together, you uh, a good way where you can actually make the entire thing link to one another is if you had a way where you could clearly see just the monkey and just the, the crab. Like if you were to make it cut all of the boards in half, you could make the entire top part purely based on the crab and the bottom is purely based on the, the fish. So then it would not only eliminate the need for a conclusion board because it's right there with one another, but it shows like, you know, as it's move on, you have direct comparison of all the facts. Instead of one board that shows both, but then this board only has one, and then you know, it goes back and forth between both, you know, animals. I like the board, actually. But then, yeah, okay, about the monkey thing. I think the way you can actually highlight them is by doing the did you know part, like a different background instead of black. Like maybe that is the pop up, and then you know the background color is the yellow or something. So that one you can really separate it from the rest. The rest of it, I really like. I think you chose the topic because you were under me or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It looks like her. No, it's your choice, right? It's your choice. Uh, <laughs> 
I like I like how you have that the you know the reproduction process. I really like that. But I think the way you present it just now is that you had uh, you sorry to use this word, but wasted a lot of time by saying this is big note. This is my first board. This is my last board. This is the yellow so, bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yellow. Um, our topic is meeting and report. Actually, it's okay. Yeah, and then this is much deeper. Because the whole time, like, yeah, I know this is much deeper. I know that's your third board, your fourth board. But what is the information? You know, like uh, when you said, did you know? I'm like, oh, I don't know. So let me know. You know, <laughs> maybe. So like, I wanted to know. I wanted to know the information, but you kept on saying, yeah, this did you know? And it's in yellow. I'm like, yeah. Okay, what is it? You know. So um, maybe so. Um, Everything else, like the information, I think it's all that. Like I really like it, but um, the tiny bits that I just said, and then maybe the way you present it to us, be a bit, you know, do not uh, waste so much time because just now maybe it was like one more minute, five more seconds. I would be, you know, prejudiced as well. So just try to not waste so much time by saying all that. Yeah. Well, no, it's really good. Ms. Tina. Uh, okay, again, there's a lot of information. To me, there's a lot of information. I don't know where to concentrate because there's so many things and there's nothing like like what, what you were saying that you don't have highlights or the things that you want to focus. It's all blend in, I guess. There's a lot I think of information. You use too much, too much color, many colors. Yeah, and then I think because um, Charlotte mentioned just now, she just realized there's like two and you were talking about two animals when you were explaining maybe the third and fourth thought. So maybe when you were ex when you present the information, maybe there should be a separation between talking about maybe there's different colours or different you know, to separate the information of both animals. Then we can see the sequence and if I were you, I would probably relate back like okay, say for example, why do they reproduce? Okay, before reproduction happens you need to mate. Right? So I think it would be nice to have that two separation, if I were you, use this, all this information, maybe talk about a bit their features, you know, you're explaining general information of both mud skipper and fiddler crab, and then you start talking about, okay, now you have this male or female or whatever it is, the adult, you know, um, both or both animal, how do they mate, maybe like okay, mating production, and then after they mate, they reproduction, I think to show that relationship between that cycle. Right from adult, and then when you have adult, I mean it, it's normal between you know, you know that 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 how do I say that process. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't want to say that process is the same. Okay, mating reproduction. So if you were to show it that in that sequence, and at the end of the day, when they reproduce, they produce a new you know babies, and then it becomes adult again. So then if you can show that cycle, I think it will be clearer as a whole board. It's just that now it's very. Too many, too many information. I don't know where to focus. I um, I, my first thought when I look at this, I, I love your sketches. You know, your draft. Your draft was nicer <laughs> than this. To be honest. I mean, this is okay. This is okay. But if you've seen the sketch, the draft is nice, right? It was black and white, and I was just imagining it's gonna be black and white. I mean, like white background, and then you're just gonna highlight. Do you have it with you? We don't have it, okay, but it's nicer because it was a white background and it was more like a sketchy kind of thing. Alright? But I do like that. Uh, finally, yeah, you have that. Me do it. Okay? You have that. That's interesting. Anything else? Good photo. Huh? Good I like photo. the artwork. Like everything is kind of cute. Yeah. But your drawing is really, really nice. Yeah. I like it. But something to take care of. Uh, those, like, those, 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 try to simplify it and make it more like a symbol or synchronize it because like icon yeah yeah like an icon because this is an important infographic poster it's not a symbol it's not a, it's not your artwork it's the the big the big picture of the 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 picture the same thing is um, try to make it more connected with everything. That's it. Maybe here also can uh, can move so that and also by choosing two 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 species, right? You need to be really clear about your contrast between between the relationship between these each other. So as in why you want to choose this thing instead of like uh, just showing one by one showing the relationship, like the contrast or 
they have, they have something similar or what? Okay, thank you. Good photo. Okay, my hair, no. Good, good, good. 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 Good,